And here we are for the first time really in human history with something that's going to be far more intelligent than us. Elon Musk expressed grave concern about the rapid development of artificial intelligence on Wednesday at the world's first major summit on AI safety. It's one of the existential risks that uh, we face, and it's potentially the most pressing one. Musk said the aim of the inaugural two-day summit was to establish what he called a third-party referee to observe AI development and to sound the alarm if needed. Fears about the impact AI could have on economies and society took off last year when Microsoft-backed OpenAI made ChatGPT available to the public. Some worry that in time, machines could achieve greater intelligence than humans, resulting in unintended consequences. In a first for Western efforts to manage the dangers, China's vice minister of science and technology joined U.S. and EU leaders, as well as tech bosses, at England's Bletchley Park, home of Britain's World War II code breakers. It was here the country signed the Bletchley Declaration, an agenda focused on identifying issues with AI and developing policies to mitigate them. I firmly believe that we must be guided by a common set of understandings among nations. In a speech at the U.S. Embassy in London, U.S. Vice President Kamala Harris called for urgent global action to address potential threats posed by AI. From AI-enabled cyber attacks at a scale beyond anything we've seen before, to AI-formulated bioweapons that could endanger the lives of millions of people. These threats are often referred to as the existential threats of AI because, of course, they could endanger the very existence of humanity. The United States used the British summit to announce it would establish a new AI safety institute, which will assess potential risks. Harris's decision to give her speech and hold some meetings with attendees away from the summit raised some eyebrows, with some executives and lawmakers suggesting Washington was trying to overshadow Prime Minister Rishi Sunak's summit. British officials denied that, saying they wanted as many voices as possible. And later in the day, Sunak welcomed Harris to 10 Downing Street for dinner. She plans to attend the British summit on Thursday.